Hey everybody, I want to show you a cool new feature on D2 Checklist today that will automatically set up your armor mods uh, to help you with your current weapons. Now the, the point of this is not to create a magical perfect build. Um, you can use DIM for that, you can uh, you know carefully craft your own build. The point of this is like you don't want to think about it too much, you just want to set up decent enough mods. You want to maybe go into PvE with the right scavengers and finder mods, you want to maybe have protective light on. Uh, maybe you've got a uh, friend or family member that you're playing with that can't be bothered to set up their champion mods properly and you want to kind of help them out and give them a little wizard to automatically click it for it. That's, that's what we're going for here. Um, another one is if the, you're trying to do a gunsmith bounty, right, for, for shotguns. Uh, just go in there, you know, you pick up your gunsmith bounty and you hit the shotgun button. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this. First, you want to go to d2checklist.com. I'm going to sign in. Then you want to head over to the gear page. Now you don't really have to do anything else extra here. It's kind of all set up uh, for you. The only thing you want to do is, is the wizard keys off of the currently equipped gear on your character. So uh, make sure you've got uh, the equipment equipped that you want to be working with. So like right now I've got my, uh, my Titan is set up here uh, kind of in, in Atheon mode. I've got myself a fusion rifle, one KV. Uh, scout rifle. Meanwhile, I've got my hunter who's kind of set up to, to be a PvP player with, a, with chaperone and, and a, an SMG. And then I've got my warlock over here who's going to be going hard with, with Aegir Scepter working on the catalyst. Um, so once you're ready to go, your character's all set up. I'd also recommend you put on you know your, your best armor that has the, the most space in it, but it'll work either way. It's just not going to have as much space to put mods in if, if you don't. Um, you want to click on right here on your character emblem. This is this is where a lot of the cool functionality in the, the gear manager is. You, you click on that. Uh, and then right down here on armor mod wizard, you go ahead and click. And at this point, you can select which character you want to work on, what mode you want to do, and which weapons you want to prioritize. Um, the questions will change based on your mode. In PvE, it'll ask you if you want to operate on champions. And then you can choose to mess around with your seasonal mods and general stat mods, or you can choose to leave them alone. So first we'll start, uh, let's start with the hunter. And in PVP mode, let's say we're gonna go into PVP, we're gonna prioritize our chaperone. We're also gonna be interested in making sure our, sh our uh, Shire is, works pretty well. Uh, we're gonna go hard, we're gonna turn on high energy fire. So if we pick up an Orbalite, we get a damage bonus. And I'm gonna be a, an invis hunter jerk, so I'll turn on mobility so I can dodge more often. Now we can click the preview button down here to just see what the site's gonna do. So um, there were no mods on my, my guy to remove. And what the site will do, if you were to click apply, is it's gonna throw a shotgun targeting on, submachine gun targeting, shotgun decks, sub decks, unflinching for both of our weapons, scavenger for our shotgun. Uh, scavengers don't stack, so it's gonna throw a holster on instead for our second one. Um, and then it's going to attempt to put a high energy fire on and then taking charge. And then finally, with our extra space, it's going to throw in as much mobility as it can. So through some minor and, and major mobility mods on our gear. So that looks pretty good. Um, let's just kind of kind of test it real quick. So let's go back to our hunter. You can see right now all of his gear. He doesn't really have anything on right now. We could manually put on items by clicking there, but we're going to use the wizard. So we go back to the wizard. Go back to hunter PVP. Get all of our options. I'm just going to go ahead and click apply. Now the API is not the fastest thing in the world right now for, for setting mods. It's like a couple seconds each. So you're gonna be a little patient. Um, but as you can see, it's going through, setting all of our mods. You need to be in orbit or in a social space. Azura's Loot Cave does not count um, for this to do. So it's, it's a good one to do in orbit before your activity. And without waiting too long, We're going to be all set. There we go. We're done. Our armor's all set up. Instead of empty armor, we're all set up to uh, go be a jerk in PvP. So let's uh, let's jump over and do a couple other examples. So my Titan, uh, he's kind of set up for uh, you know high level PvE content right here. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll focus on our, our plug one and our one KV. They, honestly, they're both fusion rifles. It's going to do the same thing. Let's say that we are going to fight champions today. Um, and we're going to go for some protective light and resilience because we're a Titan. So let's go ahead and preview that. Again, no armor to remove. So we're going to get double fusion finders, double fusion loaders. Uh, we'll throw a concussive dampener and sniper damage resistance on because those are just good to do in PVE. 
And then our fusion scav, our fusion holster, we got our protective light and taking charge, and then a bunch of resilience mods. So that worked out pretty well. And and these are not magic. This is these are kind of just if else logic that I put into to DD checklist based on my own preferences. So you know if, if I get some community input on on better ideas for what to do here, uh, I can change that later. Um, and then finally our warlock. Let's imagine our warlock's working on his uh, agar scepter. But again, let's let's imagine it's in high level content. So um, we will go ahead and look for protective light. Warlocks are interested in recovery. So let's go ahead and do our preview here. So you can see that it removed a whole bunch of uh, mods that were on ahead of time. And the site's not super smart. It'll, it'll potentially remove a mod and put it back on. So just be patient there. And then it's going to double up our trace rifle ammo finders. Um, since we mentioned that we're fighting champions, it's going to go ahead and put overload bow and unstoppable fusion on to deal with our champions because it detected that we have a bow and a fusion and those mods are available to us. And then it's going to go through and do kind of the same other stuff. So anyway, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm definitely going to be using it with my family when we play to, I can stop nagging them about putting on mods themselves. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it adds some value for you. All right. I'll talk to you guys later.